Hi, I'm Allie Dazzle for We Are Memory Keepers, and today I'm going to share a tip with you for using the tab punch board. Normally with the tab punch board, you would make tab dividers similar to this that you might use in a planner or maybe a journal. Um, some people like to use them as a decorative layer on cards or scrapbook pages. But let's say you want to just have a tab that you want to attach to a page that's permanently bound in a notebook or maybe you're into Bible journaling and you want to add tabs in your Bible. So I'm going to show you how to do that with the tab punch board. It's pretty easy. So um, basically, um, I'm going to give you three different measurements for the small, medium, and large tabs. Now you don't have to do those exact sizes, you can really do any size you want. But if you'd like to make a small tab, you're going to cut your paper to 2 and 1 8 inches wide. If you want to make a medium tab, you're going to cut it to 2 and a half inches. And if you want a large tab, you're going to cut your paper to 3 inches wide. The length really doesn't matter because you're going to cut off the extra, okay? And I will add those measurements in the description of this video below so that you can um, make a note of those. So, Okay, we're going to do a small tab. So first I'm going to just slide this in and I'm going to line it up just past these two um, sets of holes right here. So we're just going to put it right there and punch. Okay, so you've already got one little side in your tab. Then we're going to flip that over and line it up now on the board right there on the small line for the small tab and punch again. So now you see you've got just a tab there. So now I'm going to move to the cutting section of my board and I'm going to take my blade, put that notch right in the track. Sorry, go this direction. And then we're just going to slide. And now look what you've got. You've got a scrap there that you can use for something else and a perfectly shaped little tab that you can staple or tape on to whatever page you'd like, okay? Now, if you want to make a tab that folds over your page, you're going to do the same thing, but you're going to just fold your paper in half and you're going to slide the folded edge into the board to punch. Does that make sense? So you're just folding your paper over and sliding it in and punching that um, folded edge and then you're just going to slide right across there and it will go right through the two sheets of paper. So there's a fun tip for you for the tab punch board. Thanks for joining me. I'm Allie Dosdell for We Are Memory Keepers.